we were so lucky to be at the right place at the right time. So we paid 138 for all of this and two games will get our money back. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome to a brand new video. We're Global Thrifters. My name's Jack. And I'm Emily. And together we're a full time reseller couple here in the UK. So in today's video we're back at the boot sale. Yeah, it's our regular midweek one and this week we've done pretty well. So yeah, we didn't get much footage when we were there as it was a bit cold, dark and miserable but... <laughs> yeah, but you might have seen on Instagram we did pop up a little photo, a little teaser. You know, of a Maltese. Yeah. Oh, little people pleaser. Yeah, there's, and there was loads in the van, so we've done really, really well. So we're going to go through it. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please smash a huge thumbs up. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button down below. And without further ado, let's get thrifting. Um, £13. Take a ten on the grass. Fifteen. Go on, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not going to beat you up any harder than that. We'll, we'll take it. Okay. We'll have a go. Right, draw the bag. Oh, if you don't mind, yeah, I'll, I'll sort that out. Don't worry. Thank you so much. Have you got a fiver change, please? Um, I don't think I have. I think I've got a fiver anywhere. I can come back if not. I'll, I'll still pay you, but I I'll come back for it. Yeah, yeah, I'll still I pay owe you. you a fiver. No problem, I won't forget. Don't you don't go leaving though, don't go running off. Right, <laughs> 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 <By> Emily. <laughs> In it the um groovy chick, yeah. What are you? Oh dear. Right, so we are back. Yes, it was, as we said before, a really good day. Yeah. And hopefully you managed to see a few bits that we picked up. A little bit of negotiation and just us <laughs> out finding the stuff. You know, getting up early before the sun's come yeah. up and trying to find some treasure. Right, so now we're going to show you what we picked up, what we paid and what we hope to sell it for. Let's get into it. <laughs> so first up is something that we showed last video. <laughs> We love La Cruz there. Exactly. So we picked up three this time. We've got the casserole pot. And we've got two saucepans. We've got size 16 and size 18. This is size 20, obviously in the blue. We picked these obviously. Up. <laughs> obviously. We, put, we picked these up for a really good price, £25 for all three. Which wow. is, yeah, I'm, we're stealing it. You know, I didn't bid him. I said to him, I'll pay it. He said he appreciated that. I think that's the thing with house currencies, though. They're getting the stuff. They're getting yeah. paid to clear the stuff. So we're having to pay them to yeah. us to take it. To Definitely. <laughs> Condition-wise, a little bit of staining again, but no real chip. Oh, no real chips. These two are really clean, to be fair. Yeah, the condition is good. Like, we have picked them up with a chip inside before. And as long as you mention that, some people might repair them, use them yeah. for plant pots or whatever. But if, it, if it's a couple of pounds, we'll pick them up chipped. But thankfully, these weren't. So we got them. The casserole pan is being listed for 90 plus postage. The smaller pan, 40, and the larger pan, 50. So, like we said, we paid £25 for the lot. That is looking at 180 from a £25 investment. Yeah, which is awesome. Yeah, we may have to take an offer or two, mm -hmm. but... Yeah, very happy with that. No start. Good start indeed. Okay, so before the big lot of video games, we did find a small lot of video games. So we paid £10, he was asking 15 You've got original PS1, about, I don't know, eight games, maybe 10 mm -hmm. games, a couple of controllers. And done for now. Exactly. So we're gonna take one of the games out, Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets, as that sells for around £10. Money back already. Yep. Dance map, we're gonna list for around 20 and yeah, we're gonna bundle the console with a few games. Yeah, and we should get at least £40 for the console, as long as it works and the games work, bundled it all up, we'll hopefully at least £50 minimum for mm -hmm. our £10 investment. Gatorade. <laughs> this is very American, you know, very NFL, you know, on the side of the pitch and stuff. Let's, let's, <laughs> Oh dear. But yeah, it's, just, it's awesome. We picked this up for £10. Um, it's a trader that's down there quite often. I've never seen him have this before. And we just love it. We think it's awesome. So I think this is maybe going to stay with us, but if we were to sell it, I think maybe in the summertime it would be better, yeah. as obviously 
you probably get more use out of it. Yeah, no one's going to be really sat outside drinking this and that now. You can use it indoors, but yeah, I think we should get at least £40 for it, which is awesome. A smaller yeah. one, M did find for about £30. Yeah, I think for now, we're going to keep it just because how often you don't really find them very it's often, do you? Cool. It is pretty cool, but yeah, quite, yeah, quite happy with this one. So next up, we've got this Frank Thomas motorbike helmet. This is the model FT36, an inner size small. So we paid around two to three pounds for this and we should get around 20 to 25. So not big money, but still a good Yeah, yeah, yeah. very happy with that, very happy. And it's something that we have picked up a few times, motorbike gear, whether it's the leathers or the helmets or gloves. Yeah. Um, some of them go really quick, some we've sat on, still got a couple mm. to sell. So the ones with the full face, the full face <laughs> flip do sell for a little bit more. Obviously the ones with the visor, yeah. Do you fetch okay money, but the one that comes out? <laughs> yeah, we know, know, we know, know what I mean. you mean, we know what you mean. But yeah, hopefully someone needs one, right size, right shape, right style, <laughs> right price, we'll sell it. It'll go. Right, so I know what you guys were thinking when you first saw this, but this isn't a lamp. I know, <laughs> shock. It does look like a lamp though. Uh, it's actually a Samova, Samo it's like a urn, like a tea urn, that sort of thing. Really cool. I found out it's Russian. I did think it maybe like, like Turkish first, I wasn't too sure. Mm. So we dropped our friend Sean, who we mentioned in the last video, a message just for his opinion on it because I couldn't find too much online, mm. or they're ranging from thirty pounds to thousands of pounds. Yeah, silly money. And yeah, he gave us a bit of advice. We have gone aimed really high, higher than what he was actually saying, mm. and we've put this on for three hundred. Yeah. So yeah, we are aiming really high at three hundred, but hopefully. Even 100, 100 pounds, I'd be very happy. It is a nice little set. So we paid 15 for this. The lady had it up for 20, but Jack loves a bargain. Yeah, go have a go. Off the 10, we agreed on 15. So originally we were estimating at least 50 pounds, mm. so we were happy to pay 15. But yeah, hopefully we're, I mean, we might not get 300, but no. at least maybe 100. We'll try. So you never know, you aim that high price, someone makes you an you offer. Can always come down. Exactly. But we'll sit on it for a bit. We've got promotional listing on eBay at the moment, two pound fees. So if it goes to 300, we're saving 28 pounds. Mm. So yeah, you gotta have a try. Right, so next up we've got some Lego. So we paid 15 pound for a bundle of a few bits. So we've got this Lego Technic set, which is the A830. It does have what appears to be the set, but it also has some extras as well. So we've done a £10 auction on this one. We've got Black Panther's Royal Talon Fighter, and we've listed this for 15 It does have the minifigure, so yeah, I'm hoping we'll get yeah, that. Yeah, it's minimum 10 but we'll try 15 You know, if we even ever end up at 12 it's a good price for that. It's a fun kit, pre-built, so happy days. Last up is a Ninjago set. 70588 Ninja Tumbler. It is built inside, and that's about £20. So if we get 10 20 is 30 15 on that is 45, and we do have a bag of mix, maybe half a kilo, so it's at least another five or less. So it could be 50 pounds from our 15 pounds. Very happy. Okay, and next up is an Attack 2ER radio transmitter by Futaba. I think it's Futaba, I don't know it's how you pronounce it. But basically, it's like new other. You know, the condition is good. Mm. Some of the bags are still sealed inside for like the parts and accessories. And yeah, I think we paid 10 pounds and listed for 35. Mm -hmm. So. Not bad. Yeah, it's got a couple of watches already, so we'll see how that one goes. And it's an easy thing to list. Easy to package, <laughs> easy to post. Very good. Okay, so next up, we've got a Subutio set. This is the Manchester United 1999. So we paid £2 for this, and we should get minimum 30 uh, Someone's asking 55 for one in very good condition. It's missing one character. Yeah, it's missing really? one. And one character, one player. <laughs> and I do need to repair the gold. Uh, the gold post frame's a bit broken, mm -hmm. um, and the box is a bit battered so even if you go half price if someone's asking 50 or 60 if we get 20 or 30 you know oh, dream work makes that dream work so yeah we'll show you inside there so it's got most of the char characters but me <laughs> saying it most of the players um but one is missing um but yeah it's it's something hopefully two pound is minimum 20 yeah. but we'll aim for 30. so more Nerf guns. So we bought this bundle in two transactions from two different sellers, paid about £20 in total. This is the best of the lot, about £35. We have picked it up before. It is the Longstrike CS6. Because it's got the barrel, it's about £35. Without the barrel, you're looking at about £20, £25. It does make a difference. And then we've got the Rapid Strike CS18. So we've got two of these boxed and two of these unboxed. Box we're looking at around 25 to 30, and then unbox around 20 to 25. So. Yes, so they are battery operated, so we do need to check they do mm -hmm. work, but hopefully, fingers crossed, they're all good. And then we have a few guns in here, like the barricade. Yeah, so you've got the barricade, the surge fire, and yeah, 
a few guns in there. Yeah, we've got a few guns in here, but they're no major names. We're just going to bundle them together. Yeah, and then this will be sold together. This came with the bundle of brand new bullets. So this will be about 10 to 15. So a good bit of profit. Hopefully they work. Okay, so next up, we've got a pair of trainers. So these are the Nike Air Max 95 Essential in size 11. So a nice men's size. My size. <sighs> Minus five. <laughs> So we picked these up for £3 and we should get around 30 I mean, different colours, different variations, <laughs> get more, but we just want a quick flip. Yeah. Pass them on. They are, as I said, they are used. Um, we've got a bit of a wear on the front there, but we're giving them a clean and stuff. And hopefully, they don't sit around too long, they'll run away. So next up we bought two toys for a pound, so like 50 pence each, not a lot of money. One's a flip and one's a flop. Exactly. <laughs> I was hoping this may be like a wheezy, you know, that sort of thing where it's a rare one and you, and you earn some good money. But however, it's not. Um, so you might want it, it's from Finding Dory. It is from Finding Demo. <laughs> Finding Demo? <laughs> Finding Dory? Yeah, it's like six free postage, so it'll probably just go in a bundle or car boot and get rid of it. However, the extra sketch is about 15 to 20. It's not the original one, it's 2004, but they are still popular. So if you can pick them up cheap, it's definitely worth a go. So then we've got this Casio mini keyboard. So this is the model PT1, still in the original box. I mean, there's missing a door, but <laughs> hey, it's still got the original box. It comes with the instruction manual and it is tested and working. So I think it's called a mini keyboard synth synthesizer. Oh, I have no idea. We've given it a little test and yeah. it does fully work, so we're looking at around 28 to 30 on this. Awesome. So we always try and pick up bar stuff, whether it's beer pumps or optics, ashtrays, that sort of thing. This bundle was a really good price. So we paid £5 for six optics. We've kept one for ourselves, a Jack Daniels one. I just like it. So we've got this one, which we're going to sell for a £10 auction on its own. We couldn't find much about it. So we thought we'd just put it on auction and see if we get any interest. Then we've got a Coxspur and a Bazik. Look at us pronouncing names, butchering names. <laughs> and a Coxspur and a Bells. So we're going to bundle these up, do a £10 auction on each. They're quite retro, sort of made in England and that. So someone may want them for a man cave, home bar, that sort of thing. So I think at that price, they should sell quite well. Right, so now we're on to the bit that you've been waiting for. Yes. So we had basically finished at the car boot. We'd gone around two or three times, bought a fair amount, as, you, six. as you'd already <laughs> seen. And then we went back to the van. We said, have one more look around. And this van who had just pulled up, pulled up one crate of video games. We said, how much? They said a pound each. Mm -hmm. So we bought about 18 for about 15 pounds. And then he said, if you come back later, I've got four more crates to pull out. We looked at each other and we're like, We'll wait. We, we won't go anywhere. Obviously we kept our distance. We weren't yeah, yeah, hovering. Of course. We were hovering at a distance. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And yeah, as he pulled them out, we went through them. And this is what it ended up being. So we've been through them. We haven't tested them yet. That's our job for today. But this crate is going to be bundle games. Yep. However, this crate is going to be either single or two pairs. Yeah, so at the time we were picking and choosing the games. But we knew we weren't going to get gems every single one and ones that we weren't too sure on just I don't know, for example ultimate fighting champions ps1 we weren't sure so for, for a pound or less yeah. you know we had a go 3ds funky barn you know we'll have a go on it for a pound so we won't lose money even if you put 10 of these games online you'd still get your 10 pound back so i knew we were safe at that price so we paid 138 for all of this and two games will get our money back Crazy. So now we're going to go through just some of the ones that we'll be selling separately. I'm going to put this one down this bit. <laughs> so there are two items that are going to be staying with us for a little bit. This minty fresh <laughs> Game Boy Advance in purple. Box in really nice condition. Consoles in really nice condition. Original manuals, etc. Exactly. Yeah. And this was our teaser from our Thursday Thrifter Talks. You may have seen us mention it. If we did sell it, we're looking around the £50 mark. But for now, it'll be staying with us. The next thing is a sealed game. Now, it's not a great game. Thief, Deadly Shadows, 10 to 15 pounds sealed, but you don't find them sealed that often these days. So yeah, happy to sell that for a bit. It may become rare later on, but for now, I'm happy to sell it. Okay, so I've got some PS1 games here. We've got two Command & Conquer. We've got Command & Conquer and Command & Conquer Retaliation, both black label and about 15 pound each minimum. 
Then we've got this PS3 Fuzz Music Quiz. Now this sells for around £20 on its own without the controllers, so definitely one to look out for. And then we've got another three PS1 games, classics. These are Resident <laughs> Evil 1, 2 and 3, Nemesis. Now around £15 to £20 each, so yeah, really, really good. Always pick up them if you see them. Then we've got Def Jam Fight for New York. Now this sells for around £25. Then we've got good old classic. There were two of these in there. So we've got two GameCube. Double, double, double dash, two of them. Oh. Double, double dash. So these sell for around £25 each plus postage. Awesome. Okay, I only found one boxed Game Boy Advance game in there. I would like to have found more. I love finding <laughs> the cardboard box games. They're awesome. But this is Advanced Wars, which I think we sold loose a, mm -hmm. a couple of years ago. But this is boxed in quite good condition and we'll be asking £40. Awesome. And then we've got a few Wii games. We've got Wario, Wario Land. This sells for around 10 plus postage. Plus we have a few of the other Wii yeah, games. Like but Wii Sports. We'll be hours and, yeah, and yeah. We get through them all. But it'd be safe to say, you know, sort of £10 minimum, some are like 5 and 8, but most of the games are £10 minimum, yeah. 20 or 30 or 40 as you've seen, yeah. but one mm. is £100, we'll get to that. So we've got Luigi's Mansion on the GameCube, this sells for about 30 We've got Xbox 360, Nia or Nia, I've never seen it before, but it's that sort of anime sort of styling, mm. which I think it's always worth picking up, even if you're not sure, and that one's £15, so definitely one to grab. And then we've got a couple of the Sly games. I think it's number one is worth a little bit more, but number two and three, we're gonna bundle together for 25, the pair. On PS2. Okay, next up we've got some loose carts. It's a shame they haven't got the boxes. Yeah, I mean, if I had the boxes, we would be talking a lot more money. It's a Pokemon white version on the Nintendo DS, and also the Pokemon Amiga Ruby on the 3DS, and we're looking at 20 pounds each, just for the carts. No boxes, mm -hmm. cart only. So then we've got Zelda's Majora's Mask 3D. This sells for around £30. And then we've got Pokemon Soul Silver. This sells for around 40 cart only. And then another two which I thought would be worth more. They're about £10 including postage each. It's Wii U, Mario Kart 8 and New Super Mario Bros U. So yeah, I mean, whether we sell them right now or not, because they may go up. But even at £10 each, all in, I'm still happy with that. So then we've got a bit of a bolo. So this is on the Wii. Fragile Dreams. This is quite a rare game. When I was looking it up, I couldn't actually quite believe the prices, but we're gonna try 50 pound for this one. That's mad. I mean, it's not a game I've ever seen before. No. But again, it's this anime sort of characters, the cartoon mm. characters. They can fetch a really good price. So this is the Farewell Ruins of the Moon. And yeah, like we said, we're gonna try 50. I think that's quite a fair price yeah, for yeah. it. So See yeah. how it goes, hopefully it goes before Christmas. I think when we were going through the games, we were trying to get ones that we either knew were good mm. or, like you said, yeah. random. Ha have a ones good... you haven't seen before. Exactly, exactly. And you're having that gut feeling. Like we knew we'd pick up games that weren't worth much. But like Dragon Ball Z, you know, mm. it's, it's not some of them are, but that one's just not worth that much. But I didn't know. And at mm. that price, we would bundle it all in to pay for the education and find out what you don't know. We haven't gone through all of them, no. but last up are three Mario games on the GameCube. Now, we picked up every GameCube yeah. game just because they're always good to bundle. Thing. You don't see them that often. Yeah. So we've got the Mario Power Tennis. We should get around 18 plus postage for this one. And a Mario Golf Toadstool Tool. It's about 20... Oh. What did I say? <laughs> <At all. laughs> Mario Golf Toadstool Tour. It's about <laughs> 20 pounds. But... Are we going to tell them? Shall we sell it? Shall we sell it? Yeah, so this is a £100 game. Mario Superstar Baseball. Now, in the live on Thursday, everyone was like, oh, Paper Mario, all this. No, no <laughs> one guessed this for a sports game as well. Like, what sports game would you know that would be worth £100? So, sold listings, they've sold for around that. So, people are asking 107 The next jump from that is like 150 So Yeah, and it's got... Manual and disc. Disc is in, well obviously the disc's there. Um, but the disc is in good condition. So yeah, we'll see how we go with that one. So like we said, there is pretty close to 100, 200 games here. Yeah. So we physically cannot go through them <laughs> and show you all. all. But we've gone through a few of our favorite ones and some that are gonna get us the most money. Definitely. So as we said, we spent 138 on this bundle and we're hoping to push over a thousand pounds. So I think we're still buzzing from going through it all, to be honest. We were so lucky to be at the right place at the right time. 
Yeah, definitely. And we picked up a few good bits that day as well as the game. Mm. So all round, good car boot for a winter. A cold mm. winter's day in December on a Wednesday. And we picked up as good as we would on a summer's day. Right, so that was our haul. Make sure you drop a comment down below and let us know what your favourite item was, how your sourcing's going lately. Let's talk about the giveaway. Yeah, so this Wednesday, not Thursday, yes. got a change of day for one week only, we will be doing our last of the December Christmas giveaways. So this Wednesday, we are joined by the lovely Nick and Andrea Hills, which we are so excited to have on the channel. Definitely. It'll be good fun, lots of questions, lots of chat, and hopefully we'll see you guys there. OGs versus newbies. I'm gonna cut to a clip to see exactly what you can win and the prizes available. All you have to do is give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, and be present while we do the draw this Wednesday. Yeah, it's so natural <laughs> to say Thursday, but I don't know, it's the Wednesday Thrifter Talks this week. That'll work. So see you at 8 p.m. on Wednesday for a good chat. And other than that, we'll see you soon for a brand new video. Take care, stay safe.